My name is Neil Dahlstrom. I'm the manager of Corporate Archives and History at John Deere. So in that role, I'm responsible for the acquisition, the management of historical records, artifacts, equipment related to the history of John Deere since its founding in 1837. I've been with Deere uh, nearly 20 years and I've been doing this most of my career. When, when I was a kid, I wanted to be Indiana Jones. And, and so that was my dream in life, and that led me to volunteering at museums and archives. I went to Monmouth College in Illinois, got an internship in the college archives there, and I was fortunate enough to be hired uh, at Deer uh, in the archives. But at the end of the day, my job is to preserve the history of John Deere and to make it accessible. So that means we've got all these boxes of records and photos and films and all this material doesn't do anybody any good if it sits in a box on a shelf and no one has access to it. So how do we acquire the right materials? How do we provide accessibility through digitization, through finding aids, through collections catalogs? How can we retrieve the information? How can we interpret it and do something with that knowledge? It costs a lot of money to relearn things that you already know. So part of our job is to help make John Deere more efficient so we don't have to relearn all the lessons that we already learned. And so we're very much interpreters of history, and that includes putting history in the right hands of people who are working at John Deere, working on the next thing. History is not about just collecting old records and old information. It's about how do you use it so that you can work on, on the next thing, so that you can continue to learn. Moving forward, everything's different but we can look to lessons of the past and say, well, we did it this way and that was effective, or we did it that way and maybe it wasn't effective. So how can we amass all this information, our collective knowledge over the last 180 plus years and use that as a foundation for what's happening next? And that's really what history is all about.